Hey guys, Christian here. Uh, we're doing a bunch of winter travel uh, preparedness stuff, and my favorite means of winter travel is a snowmobile. Ever since I was a little kid, I was obsessed with these things. I used to, uh, I used to race in eighth grade. Actually, even tested test drove for a magazine. They flew me out to West Yellowstone. I've been obsessed with, the th with these things my whole life. But you know, growing up in Wisconsin, I was primarily kind of a flat land rider, and um, Moving out to the West, I had to relearn everything about not only riding a snowmobile, but how to be prepared out in the backcountry. I've never had to deal with avalanches and super deep snow and getting stuck at the level you can with these guys. Um, there's just so much danger out there that just goes right along with so much fun. So I thought it'd be cool to make a really short video to show you my sled setup. Um, kind of stays the same whether I'm out just riding with my buddies or if we're going out to ski tour in the back country or if we're doing a hut trip on the way in. So here's a couple things. First of all, uh, I, I put this Polaris uh, ski holder, works for snowboards as well, on to the snowmobile. It bolts right onto the tunnel. Um, very easy installation. My skis tuck in nice, and I've always got those with. If I'm super stuck and I need to get out, usually if my skis are with, I'm wearing my snowmobile or my, my ski boots. Strap on, hike out, go get help. Way faster than having to hike out in eight foot deep snow. So that's a really nice feature. These things pop off right here. I'm just gonna remove them so we can get to the other stuff. Pop these guys. They come right off. You're good to go. Before I get into the tunnel bag, I think it's really important to talk about two different things here. What's on your person, what's on your tunnel bag. There is the potential that you get separated from your snowmobile. And if everything is on your snowmobile, you've got nothing. I've seen guys drop these things down into basins, go way down into gullies, they don't get them up to the spring. So I think it's very important to kind of spread out what, you, uh, what you're carrying. Obviously, you don't want to be super weighed down, but here's what I keep on my body when I'm snowmobiling. First of all, this is a Peeps airbag designed to keep you on top when there's an avalanche. Uh, it comes with this little handle. When you're ready to go, you hold this button down. It charges up. This is one of the fan-based ones. There's also CO2 cartridges. I like the fan, it's a little heavier, but um, you can just keep using it over and over and over and you don't cycle through CO2 cartridges. So I've been able to practice with this a lot and I know exactly how it's gonna operate and I can test it. So a very nice feature there. If you get in an avalanche, you just grab this thing and yank, this huge airbag comes out, not only protecting your body, but larger, larger pieces of snow and debris go towards the top. This makes you bigger hopefully lift toward the top. It significantly improves your odds in an avalanche. It is a little clumsy, but it's worth it. Uh, inside here then, I've got my avalanche probe. Uh, if we're gonna go find somebody else, uh, probe is one of the essential tools. I've got my shovel right here, and I've got my beacon in here, although this would obviously be worn when I'm ready to go. Uh, we could do a whole other video on how to operate a beacon. There's tons out there. Look up Utah Avalanche Center if you want to know more about this. You just got to make sure that you are in send when you're riding. And if somebody goes down, you switch to search and it should take you right to them. On top of that, uh, communication's huge. You can get stuck in some trees. Your friends can't find you. I use these BCA, BC Link 2.0 radios. I own three of these actually. Here's two. Um, we all get on the same channel. We can communicate. We can hear when somebody needs help. Um, the range in these things is incredible. And I really recommend not leaving home without having these things on and functioning. I always keep a triage kit in here, whether it's a little bit of gear repair or first aid. For 130 grams, it's just a no-brainer not to have that with you. I keep an extra set of gloves. Uh, these snowmobiles are actually designed to have a little compartment in the front where hot engine air blows up. So a lot of times if I get a pair that, that gets wet, I'll put them up there, let them dry out. But I've always got a second pair in here. Uh, got some food, some nutrition. Uh, I don't have a water bottle in here right now. I would definitely carry that. And then an extra set of goggles and lenses. Um, if you're digging, if there's snow, chances are you get fogged up, froze over. Being able to see is just paramount to having a fun time and being safe. And uh, goggles help you do that. So that's what I carry on my body. 
on the sled. You know, the hope is you don't have to get into this stuff too much. The shovel on top, and I've detached this so it came off easy for this video, but the shovel on top is an easy, easy access thing. You pop this clip, you pull this out, you pull the shovel out, attach it, and you're good to go. I do use that quite a bit when I'm in the deep stuff and getting stuck. Um, so that's right there, really easy to get to. The good stuff's on the inside. So I open up this clamshell and two things here. I've got one of our old uncharted toe straps. I mostly use this for, for pulling people around if they're skiing. Um, I hook it on the back and, and pull them with the snowmobile. I have pulled guys out with this. Comes in handy in a variety of ways. Spare belt, critical. You blow a belt, the engine is not getting power to the track. So any snowmobiler that knows anything has got a spare belt. I shouldn't have to say that, but I keep mine here. Stays really nice and dry. Um, I actually have a big bumper on this thing, which took away the place where you'd normally carry your, uh, your belt and your plugs up under the hood. So that's why it lives back here. Um, same with uh, the spark plug tool. Again, there's usually a place up front because I changed the bumper around for something a little beefier. I keep this back here. On the inside of this compartment, this waterproof compartment, um, bunch of stuff. Wipes, hand warmers, uh, Dermatone. I've got a little tiny hand saw. Oh, I should also mention this, uh, this shovel has a saw, uh, saw built into the handle. So I've got a bigger saw here, a redundant small one here. I've got a bunch of paper towels in case of a fire start or whatever else. I keep my spark plugs in here to keep them dry. Wet spark plugs do not work as well. So I've got them in cardboard, in plastic, inside this, dry and ready to go when I need them. Funny thing, it's still the BR90S. That's the spark plug I've been using since I was like eight years old. So some things never change. I've got a tourniquet in here. Uh, I really recommend everybody learn how to use a tourniquet. There's a lot of energy, a lot of power in these tracks. People can get sucked under, can get cut up, can have huge gaps. This is kind of a don't leave home without it for me, especially when you're snowmobiling. I've got a beanie in here, some gloves, I've got some more food. I've got our first aid pro first aid kit. I've got a bivy, duct tape, a knife, and 100 yards of paracord. And that's really all I've got in here. But from this, I've got shelter, I've got food, I've got a way to start a fire, which then makes water with all the snow around you. Water bottle will be in my backpack. I've got a knife, duct tape, zip ties, everything I need to fix some stuff to get on out. And uh, I'm still staying lightweight and having fun out there and not getting bogged down. So. That's my snowmobile setup. Love to hear what you have. Comment below, let me know. Maybe I can make this better. Maybe we can help each other out.